God. God, why are Christians so miserable? You know what God is saying? He says they use church attendance as their form of spirituality. God, why are Christian homes breaking? He says they use work as their center. They become workaholics. The children and the family suffer. I ask God, why is the church not effective? He says pastors and people are religious. They use their attendance as a form of spirituality without any change. Now you must refuse. Why are people like this? He says, some, they are too money orientated. They are anxious. They are worried. Now I want you to become a balanced. Let not all these ministries, your home, your business, your work, nothing should suffer. Tell your neighbor, that's my objective next year. I want to be a balanced there's no way I can be a super pastor and a bad wife from the same person. One ministry is suffering. Ask your neighbor, what is the center of your life? That is, if you want your Christian walk to work for you, you are going to break your home in Jesus' name if you are religious. You are going to break your business in Jesus' name if you are religious. You need to have some kind of balance. You can sit in your corner and see all the wrongs about your husband or you can stand up and do what you want. Initiative. Because you are not spouse-centered. There's balance. If he doesn't want to do it, he's an individual. Hallelujah. You need to have demarcations. You need to set boundaries. You need to know you have ministries. Have balance next year. You won't have to pray. You'll just be thanking God. If you are money orientated, it's easy for you to be Judas. You'll kill, you'll destroy. You'll manipulate. You'll do anything to achieve. Amen. Amen. Now what is the center of your life? Home, work. You see that these centers are important. Um, I ask God, I said, God, if you have everything, why are we forever praying for Christian marriages? God, if you have everything, why are we forever praying for businesses? God, if you have everything, why is the mother and the father and the son, they're not talking? Whom are we following? He says, no, 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 we have too many centers that dominate the other and kick others out. You are a same, they're the same person. I can never be a good pastor and be a bad wife. Otherwise, I'm a comic. I am a. Now, these are the self-actualizations because you don't just want to talk about Christ. You want to experience Him. Now, it's God is the one who gives the child. God is the one who gives the work. God is the one who gives the ministry. God is the one who gives business. Why can't you balance all these gifts? You see, when you are God-centered and you are balanced, some of the things you don't even discuss, tell them. It's a waste of time. Fighting with your spouse, you'll be fighting with your family, you'll be fighting it. Because you expect people, they owe you something. This is what I'm saying. Now, when you are a balanced person, if the person says no to you, it's welcomed. Remember, God is principled. He's got no emotions. He loves everyone. Now, all the things that you have are from who? Now, God gets so hard so when he sees that you are busy chasing dollar when you don't have time for your family. You are busy chasing him when your family needs him. Tell your neighbor, laugh at yourself. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it's balanced. Otherwise, you will not see the fruit of your Christianity. You will have all the information. I want Christianity to work for you. If you have any other centers, you can't even obey God. If you have too many centers, you can't even hear God. Tell on him. <laughs> You're going to ask your uncle because he's the first one. You're going to ask the father of the child you're going to ask me me your pastor me i laugh at you uh, you must do what god says 
When you are a balanced Christian, you are a wonderful father, you are a wonderful pastor, you are a wonderful boss, you are complete because you are the same 